This ministry content is brought to you by the partners of Terry Savelle Foy Ministries. What could be stopping you from success, from achieving your dreams, from loving yourself? Could be that you assumed life would be easier, you wouldn't have so many challenges if it was really God's will. Well, sometimes what looks like an enemy in your life is really an asset. Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I wanna to talk to you today about how to love yourself in 30 days. You've got to believe in you to be successful. You gotta believe that you deserve the dreams God put in your heart. So I wanna show you how to elevate your mindset, get serious about your dreams, and feel good about yourself in the process. Now first, let me tell you something interesting that I learned about codfish. Let's pretend this is a cod. I promise there's a point here. Now in the Northeast, fishing for codfish has become a huge commercial business. There's a great market for codfish all over the US, but years ago, they had a major problem with distribution. At first, they tried freezing the codfish, shipping it out like they did the other products. But for some reason, when codfish is frozen, it completely loses its taste. I wouldn't know because I'm not a big fish eater. So they tried to fix this by shipping it alive in big containers with fresh seawater. They thought that would solve the problem, but it actually made it worse. Because the codfish sat there inactive, they got soft, mushy, and again, completely lost their taste. So someone came up with an interesting idea. They decided to put a catfish, I have no idea what kind of fish this is, but let's pretend, a catfish in each container with the codfish. Now keep in mind, it's the arch enemy of the codfish. So think about this, the whole time the codfish was being shipped, it had to stay alert, active, looking out for <laughs> this catfish, trying to eat it, fighting for his life. But guess what? This solved the problem. When the codfish arrived, they were just as fresh and tasty as they were up in the Northeast. So here's my point. What could be stopping you from success, from achieving your dreams, from loving yourself? Could be that you assumed life would be easier. You wouldn't have so many challenges if it was really God's will. Well, sometimes what looks like an enemy in your life is really an asset. It's the very thing God can use to get you where he wants you to go. In fact, challenges are what keep you alert, active, on your toes, so to speak. And they actually prepare you for greatness. So I wanna give you some self-love challenges to help you personally go to a new level this year. And let me just say real quick, John Maxwell isn't coming to tell you the secret of your future is in your daily routine. Tony Robbins, he's not coming to your front door to awaken the giant within you. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey isn't coming to say, all right, all right, all right, and <laughs> just be Matthew McConaughey. No, you have to on purpose motivate yourself. You know, I only know how to speak from experience. And I had to face the reality that I have to become my own cheerleader. Here's the thing. Nobody is asking you to be successful, to live your dreams. I heard a success coach say it like this. You have to learn to parent yourself. You know, parents used to tell you what to do. Don't do this. Brush your teeth. Get dressed. <laughs> don't eat cake before dinner, Terry Lynn. But when you grow up, it's you telling yourself what to do. Well, I want you to view these self-love challenges today not as an obligation, but as an opportunity to drastically improve your life. I can't help but think of Dwayne, the Rock Johnson. He said he owes his entire career to a traumatic experience from his childhood when his family was evicted from their apartment when he was 14 years old. He said he'll never forget the look of despair on his mom's face when she tried to explain why he couldn't sleep in his own bed that night. He had a rough childhood, arrested nine times by the time he was 17. He went through disappointment after disappointment. Well, as a result, The Rock says he resolved to change his life forever. So he never experienced anything like that ever again. And he became his own cheerleader in life. He said the change began in the weight room, but he got fixed on a vision. Here's what he said in 1995, he said he had seven bucks in his pocket and he knew two things. I'm broke and one day I won't be. 
But he started looking for opportunities to grow, to learn, to be the best. He said, if something stands between you and your success, move it, never be denied. And he saw encouraging himself to succeed as an opportunity, not an obligation. Today, he's like the highest paid actor in Hollywood or one of them. Become your own cheerleader. So I wanna to present to you a 30 day challenge to not only love yourself, but believe in yourself enough to develop successful habits. You know, 30 day challenges have the potential to truly help you reach some big goals and even make a drastic difference in your life. 30 days is the perfect amount of time to take on a personal challenge to see if you wanna keep it or toss it. It's enough time to notice some positive changes, but not too long that it's overwhelming. Oh, and I put together a really cool list of 100 ideas for you to download so you have a fun variety of things to pick from. And all you have to do is click the link in the description to get that free download of 130 day challenge ideas and just get started. And within 30 days, do you know what'll happen? You will gain more self-confidence, achieve some goals, become healthier, feel empowered, be proud of yourself for keeping your commitment. You can change your routine in 30 days. And you know what? The time will pass anyway, so why not push yourself to try something new? Oh, and hey, real quick, before I forget, would you help me out? I've been filming these weekly videos for years now, and I just love knowing if they're helping you, if you want me to continue providing this encouragement. And when you subscribe, it lets me know the answer is yes. So would you take a moment and push the subscribe button for me and my team? if you enjoy this channel. And we wanna say thank you so much for doing that. Okay, so the key is to carve out some time on your schedule every single day to devote to your challenge. What gets scheduled gets done. And these are all for the purpose of making positive changes in your life. You're gonna love number one. Number one is rest. Research shows you need approximately seven to nine hours of sleep a night. Do you know a lack of sleep affects your metabolism, your blood pressure, your emotions, your mood, your energy, your motivation to go after your dreams? You might feel unmotivated and even depressed just because you're going to bed too late and not getting enough rest. So decide on a time to go to bed each night and just aim to stick to it. Number two is invest in your personal growth. You know, they say the largest room in the world is the room for improvement. So make you and your growth a priority. Build your personal library. Don't let your books give you shelf esteem. Read them. <laughs> Set a goal to read five, 10, or 20 minutes every single day for 30 days. You know, one of my team members, Ashlyn, set a goal to read 10 minutes a day. And let's just see what she has to say. How the 30 day challenge, but for me, I was doing the minimum amount of like uh, reading a book every day. And so I did a challenge for me to do 10 minutes or more. And the funny thing was throughout the challenge, I always was like, no, I don't want to read, you know, or, you know, just all those excuses at night. But then of course I stuck true to myself and I did it. And it turned out I would literally be reading for like 45 minutes, which is crazy. And I actually do love it now. And it's actually helped create more self-discipline within my other habits and routines to help strengthen them. So it definitely had a great um, advantage afterwards. Number three, listen to positive input. I can't even put a price on what this habit has done for me. I have learned more gluing my eyelashes on in the morning than I ever learned in college. Instead of listening to music while I get ready, I listened to podcasts that transformed my thinking. And this is the easiest 30 day challenge you could ever do. I still do it every single day because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, right? Well, years ago here at our offices, there was this precious guy who was a janitor and I would see him every week, you know, when he'd come in my office and clean and I would take a moment just to invest in him. And one day I said, hey, I'll give you a bunch of our resources. He said, oh, Terry, my CD player broke. I said, no, just download our free podcast. He said, my phone messed up and I can't access YouTube anymore. I said, well, here, let me go get my brand new book. He said, Miss Terry, I just can't find time to read now that I have a baby and work and I'm just tired. Here's my point. You can have excuses or results, but you're not gonna have both. 
And I'm telling you from experience, you will love yourself more when you take the time to invest in you and your growth. Okay, number four is drink water. My team member, Sarah, chose three 30-day challenges, and one of them was drinking more water every day. So let's see what Sarah has to say about her results. And I really noticed a change just, um, especially from drinking the water each day, just felt better, felt healthier, felt more vibrant and awake. And so that's something that I'm gonna continue past the 30-day challenge. Number five, exercise. You may complain of having no energy, did you know that exercise is the very thing that gives you energy? I would encourage you to do something that works for you, something you can maintain. It could be walking on your lunch break for 10 minutes or during your kid's soccer practice or before you wake the kids up for school. Give your body at least 10 minutes, 20 minutes, move up to 30 and so on, but just start and keep your promise to yourself. Number six, intermittent fasting. Now, I'll share more about this on a different video, but I want you to know this is a game changer. You may not be my age or close to my age, 54, but going through menopause, I gained 10 to 15 pounds and I was struggling. I was exhausted. I was mad at the weight gain. I was still working out and I just felt tired and frustrated. Well, I did intermittent fasting for 30 days and I lost the menopause weight in 30 days. So my coworker Donna and her husband Tony decided to do this self-love challenge for three days too. So let's see their results. I've done that on and off over the years and um, I just know that that's a key element to, um, to diet and exercise and all of that. And so um, I, I have been doing that and I've enjoyed doing the intermittent fasting and I'm gonna carry that on. Yes, I chose the intermittent fast in the 30 day challenge and it went very well. I am so happy that I chose that. Now that I um, am on the, the 30 day challenge and it has ended, I'm still continuing to, to do the intermittent fasting and my mind is more clear. I'm more sensitive to the Holy Spirit. I get up early. My mind is, um, I'm just blessed. And I just thank y'all so much for challenging me to do the 30 day challenge. Number seven, journal your gratitude. This right here will shift your entire mindset. You'll stop scanning the world looking for things to complain about, but you'll start automatically recognizing things you have to be grateful for. And as a result, God will give you so much more to thank him for. So my coworker, Jana did 30 days of gratitude and let's see her comments. So I'm proud to say that I have continued past my 30 day challenge and I keep reading in Proverbs and I'm continuing to be grateful and do my gratitude every morning. It's just, it makes me uh, joyful and I just feel like I'm gaining so much wisdom from the word and activating it in every area of my life. So have you noticed that the gym is empty and the food court is packed? In other words, most people aren't willing to do hard things that produce big results. They'd rather take the easy way out and just watch more TV, sleep late, complain, drink sodas, and stay up too late, but not you. You know, back in the 90s, the chip company Pringles had a catch line referring to their pop-off lids. They said, once you pop, the fun don't stop. Well, most people, once they pop open the canister and eat one chip, can't stop. Well, it's the same when you start good habits that improve your life so much. Once you pop those old habits, you can't stop. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a little corny, but I want you to be sure to get your free download of 100 30 day challenges that you are going to love and you're going to learn to love yourself and believe in yourself. So just click the link in the description and you can get it right now. And don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.